Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? Wish Pisces. I know y'all want to catch me up. What's going on in the life of a Pisces for the month of August? And yes, you are going to get a mid-month video. Yes, I have a Pisces moon. So you guys, please understand that, like I told, I forgot what sign I told, I think it's Aquarius. Throw the whole damn July away, okay? The month of August has been interesting, <laughs> but neither here nor there, I'm here to get it popping for the month of August for you all. So this is just playing catch up and seeing where we are. Up until the 15th. Damn it, I still had some more days. Some of y'all got a Sagittarius coming in. So you up your life. Okay? <laughs> you guys, I miss you all so very much. Thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the damn emails, the comments. You guys support me so very much, fishy babies. So thank you so very much. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell the cards say. But I'm a cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you right now, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, okay? Uh, to the new, uh, new family, new subscribers. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Will the dysfunctional? I have to think about, like, what, 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 what come next? <laughs> we look dysfunctional, y'all. We don't fight the fun stuff. We do that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We share. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Positive vibes only. We one big happy family over here. All right. Thank you, guys. Oh, returning subscribers, familia. Hey, y'all. But y'all fine ass. I felt so much sensual energy when I was actually uh, doing the pre shuffle, you guys. It was unreal. I was like, Pisces feeling all hot. And bothered some of y'all. Just a little bother. Still hot. Okay. Causing volcanoes in the bath water. Yeah. Some of y'all's hot during the month of August. That Leo season is doing something different for y'all. It's very sensual, very creative, um, very abundant for you all as well. So we're gonna get all of it to that. Thank you all um for the likes, the shares, and subscribe. Thank y'all. Just thank you. Be your love. Thank you. I mean the personal reading that information can be found within the description box below. Okay. Also, um, you guys take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make that shit fit. You know, listen, don't try to make the shoe fit if the motherfucker is too big. Yeah, it's going to fall. Period. All right. So let's get it. We're going to start with your intuitive messages for the month of August. Let's get it. For Pisces, I got family. Rectifying the lies. Spiritual path, business growth. Come on, Pisces, speak up. Unexpected travel, gossip, guilt, bribery, conquering. They want to win. Revelations, compromise, telepathy, prosperity, contracts, dreams. Ancestral interference come through Pisces, their protection, forgiveness, balance restored, spiritual protection, astral travel. Come through Pisces. Overall energy around the reading. You guys got the ace of hearts. All right. So some of you guys could actually be um Kind of find in this space of newness in the space. Some of you guys are renewing family situations. Others of you I'm hearing are actually some of you guys could also be um, renewing a relationship or some type of past life uh, partnership with someone. And I feel like it's you guys. It's such a divine pair. It's like the perfect balance of the yin and yang. But you guys being able to master or going through this state of being in separation, mastering the self. And you guys are coming back together. I'm hearing back together to master the art of duality or the element of duality. Some of you have very, very intuitive children. Some of you guys have children that are able, some of y'all have, have children that have mediumship abilities. You're kind of coming to terms with this now. Um, others of you have. 
Some of you all have children. If you've lost a child and you're finding out that you're pregnant now and you're in this space of not knowing if you want to keep the child, whoever I'm connecting with, this is the child that you lost coming back because they chose you and ain't nothing you can do about it. You're chosen. You're in chosen. This child does have a special purpose. This child is going to be some type of architect and ex and have some type of influence and responsibility, I'm hearing, when it comes to mass consciousness or some type of collective, providing some type of collective conscious, consciousness. Sorry. Others of you, some of you are having a hard time leaving a situation. And I feel like this situation is involving children, but it has to do with, for some I'm hearing fear, fear of being alone. Others of you I'm hearing codependency. Others of you I'm actually hearing physical abuse. Someone is going through, do not sit in a relationship and accept, accept nobody putting their fucking hands on you. That's not love, babe. And whoever I'm connecting with, I'm hearing that you need to contact your mom. Because it, it's something about you rectifying, like no matter where you run to, you keep running into the same damn secular cycle. Call your mama, baby. You don't have to take that shit from nobody. Some of you all, I'm also hearing travel, unexpected travel. And I feel like that travel has to do with some type of opportunity that may have presented itself toward the beginning of the month or will be presenting itself toward the end of the month. We're going to check into that mid-month for that. Others of you, I'm also hearing protect yourself, protect yourself. Some of you all, if you've been feeling weary regarding like a group of friends, because some of y'all are really, like I'm feeling the energy of like frenemies. Some of you guys could be very successful. You know, you've kind of decided which way you're going to go and flow with on your, you know, flow on your path. And for some of you all, there's this energy of someone kind of like, patting you on the back but at the same time like they got their knife behind like they got their knife in their hand with this you know their knife in their hand behind their back this way but you know they patting you on the back with the other one um i literally heard gemini and i also heard cancer so you guys this could you know that could resonate with some of you all others of you i hear fear of adapting to the new so this could actually have to be, some of you guys may also be having to like go live with someone to either like go back to school or have help with like children. I feel like I'm connecting with someone who's a single mother who didn't want to ask anybody like to, or don't want to live with nobody. But it's something about you needing to save money. And I also felt that you actually prayed about this two days ago. Whoever I'm just connecting with with that. So I'm just, I'm giving you your confirmation right now. But what spirit wants you to do, because you ask spirit what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go stay. I believe it's an, uh, for some of you, for whoever I'm connecting with, I heard aunt for some one of you all. And then for others of you, I heard grandmother. Some of this could also be your mother. And whoever I'm connecting with, you and your mom, or you and your grandmother are needing this bonding time. Both of y'all are feeling this heaviness regarding the relationship with you guys, with one another. So it's like this energy of we are, we die. Others of you, you're needing to trust the God or goddess within when it comes to some of y'all be knowing shit and it's like you don't want to trust yourself or for that matter, you don't want to see it. Pay attention to the constant synchronicities during this time in the month of August. I definitely feel that for some of you all, conflicts will be resolved when it comes to um court matters. I'm also hearing reset. So some of y'all could actually be expecting to go to court sometime this week or next week and it's going to be reset because whoever you're going to court with, this person, whoever you're going to court with, I feel like at first this person kind of wanted to use court. I'm hearing child support. Some of y'all just got to do with child support. This person wanted to use child support as a leverage of some sort or as a way to be vindictive and now you now you with the shits. Okay, well listen, this is what we gonna do then. And now this person is kinda wanting to back out. It's like there was power in it when you were mentally affected by it, but now that you kinda bouncing up on a the motherfucker, they really don't even really know how to take you Pisces. 
some of you guys definitely have some type of offer to collaborate or some type of offer to move in with someone who could be out of state. Like you're getting a chance to go on, like restart your life, reinvent, I'm hearing. And for some of you all, I'm feeling that it's like this fear of the unknown, but you need to face it because it's beautiful things on the other side. Some of you all, whoever I'm speaking to, you have an issue with your love life, with your work life, spirit, and you have an opportunity to go to another state. Some of y'all I heard California. Others of you I heard Michigan. I'm also hearing Detroit. Others of you I'm also hearing Florida. Some of you I also heard Arkansas. Um, Montana. Okay. Mississippi. New York. Indiana. Minnesota. Pennsylvania, Denver, okay? So if you have an option to go to any of them places right now, and you question it, I just confirmed that for somebody else as well. A few of y'all I'm here. All right, so <clears throat> let's get into it because we already 10 minutes in. Y'all know I want to be my ass here for you, but I'm already late. But I was like, listen, I'm coming late, but great. I don't know what the hell um, my computer or YouTube got going on with this whole damn live stream. I wasn't going to argue or fight with it. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Listen, okay? So I'm doing things a bit different, all right? So take what take the signs that um there in fact I'm gonna do the signs later because I did pull three actual Barbieri cards for you guys. Well they fell out into your reading, so this could be significant. I'll tell you the signs, but I'm going to expound on them a bit later. Well no, Spirit is saying do it now. So got you. Because for some of you all it'll make things make sense with the angel messages that I'm gonna give. The signs that I pulled for you guys was Gemini. Aries, Aquarius, okay? So you guys could be either having an opportunity for new love. I feel that if you are dealing with the sign of Aquarius, you guys could be balancing out a situation, finding some type of compromise or coming to some type of mutual agreement to either renew or release a situation, okay? I definitely feel like you're you're going within and actually making this decision, you or this Aquarius person, but I definitely feel like either balance is being restored to renew a union for some of you all and for others of you, this has to be with um, kind of speaking up and coming to agreement to kind of find balance or some type of balance or harmony and understanding that people come in your life for reasons and seasons and it's just time to release the situation. Um, for some of you all, this could be you or another person who don't, who's having issues with releasing out of fear of being by themselves, okay? Others of you could be starting something new or meeting someone new. Yeah, some, some of y'all could be meeting someone new or starting something or renewing a situation with an Aries person. I'm also hearing, you guys, this person could have this. These people can have this in their rising or their Venus as well. This could be a sun sign, but if this is not their sun sign, check their risings in their Venus with the Aquarius, Aries, Gemini. Strong emphasis on the Venus. Or you could have an Aries, Venus, but these signs could be, we well, all just take it. And you don't have to be dealing with these damn signs. Some of you could be meeting a new Aries, so. And I feel like you and this person, this person is sent into your world to first start something new, but it's meant for you guys to go on some type of journey together when it comes to someone literally being the spark to another one's sacral chakra, as well as creative spark. Like someone using some type of alchemical, passionate energy to create. You can create. If y'all hear that growling, it's not a spirit. It's puppy ass. He sleeps. If you're dealing with the sign of Gemini, there could be some type of expansion. So for those of you who are finding out that you're pregnant, you some of y'all could actually be finding out that um, you're pregnant possibly by a Gemini. <laughs> Others of you, if you're dealing with um, a Gemini, there will be some type of expansion coming to the relationship. So this could have to do with somebody like transitioning or um, this could also have to do with someone having to like move in. Like you guys are going to be taking a relationship to either the next level or this has to do with some type of like shared responsibility as well, possibly with the Gemini. So some of y'all could also, I feel like if, some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant by a Gemini. 
or it could have a child's mother or father that's a Gemini that is coming to bring some type of expansion into your life in the month of August. Whether it's it, whether it's kind of propelling you to have some type of or aligning with you having some type of help around going into this state of expansion or into this new cycle. You guys having like an aspect of help. You guys having help. Okay. But for some of you all, this definitely is regarding balance in a situation, compromise in a situation, expansion in another, and new starts in another. Okay? So you guys take that how it resonates. First angel message you guys got was passion. Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and your career. So some of you guys are definitely renewing cycles after getting past some type of karmic time and finding balance, okay, in circumstances and situations. Some of you guys also have some type of uh, feminine ancestral figure that is covering you during this time. Some of you are also maybe getting into the occult or getting into uh, some type of like creative arts. Some of you all are into drama. Others of you are painters. Others of you are poets. And there's a need for you all to open up and express that during this time. There's some type I'm, I'm getting. I'm, I'm hearing confidence. Some of you guys could not be feeling confident enough to uh, pursue those paths. The spirit is going to be assisting you, guiding you forward with that. OK, there's angel protection here. Next message that I got was spiritual understanding, Archangel Raziel. I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Some of you all may be um, getting into some type of sacred, sacral. Some of you guys could also be working on your sacral chakra in the month of August. There will be some type of expansion around the sacral and the crown chakra. A replenishing, a rebirth. Others of you are possibly going through a rebirth as far as how you view your, like what it is that you value, what it is that you believe in, you know, actually expressing those beliefs, standing up uh, for those beliefs, um, speaking your truth in a way of and trusting the messages that you're receiving from the divine. Because you trust those messages that you receive from the divine. Others of you, there is some type of alchemic or some type of infinite partnership or information regarding some type of divine partnership for some of you all. Some of you guys could be dreaming. This. There could be a lot of activity within your subconscious space. Some of you guys could also be dreaming of, um, I'm sorry, some of you guys could also be dreaming of um, like sacred geometry figures. Triangles are going to be very important to you guys during this time. Others of you could also be seeing white doves. They're symbolizing purity, rebirth, renewals. Okay? And for some of you all, you're really needing to trust what it is that you're receiving when it comes to your crown chakra because your ancestors are really guiding you and telling you which way to go forward. But some of you all, some of you all are really needing to align or find balance within the heart space as well as the mind. Because I feel like for some of you all, for the month of August, there's this sense of conflict, okay, in those spaces. The next angel message that you guys got, because I was trying to see if I was going to pick up something else off of this, y'all. I'm looking at this, but I'm trying to figure out something else coming through with that. The next angel message that you guys got was career transition. Archangel Chamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Okay, so some of you all this has to do for some of y'all that have to do with working for yourself. Others of you this has to do with my artists, my poets, my singers, my speakers, my public speakers, my healers, my damn um uh, hmm, literally healers. Some of y'all have the ability to heal with your hands. That's what I'm getting from that. Thank you. I knew I was picking up something else from this. Others of you are going to be receiving, some of you guys are going to be receiving a blessed opportunity in the month of August that may require for you to travel, okay? There's a sense of you not being fearful towards the unknown, you guys, okay? This is part of your destiny. And there's a need for you guys to unlearn everything that's been told to you about yourself and the way that you should move. Because the motherfuckers don't know your life. How is it working out for them, Pisces? 
The next message I got was Archangel Uriel. You you know what to do. <laughs> His face serious. I don't think he said it like that. That was my point. <laughs> Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Some of you all, you be knowing shit. There's a need for you to trust the guidance that you're receiving from within. Trust your inner voice. If you've never listened to it before, Pisces, it's a time to tune in. For some of you all, some of the answers that, and some of y'all I keep hearing, my guys are wanting me to tell you guys, some of y'all watching too many damn tarot reads. They're saying that the answer is within you. Set your intentions on what it is that you're wishing for the divine to show you or what it is that you're needing your ancestors to assist you with moving forward, okay? And I asked my ancestors to cover me. Y'all see all this light up in this thing? <laughs> they be doing their thing, okay? Ask for what you want, Pisces. Let's get it. Thank you, Brother Rob, for coming up with me and shining down on me. You know I love your lights. <laughs> yes, honey. Let's see what's going on in my Pisces mental space for the month of August. See what messages do you have? My lovely Pisces. Hmm, the burden. Some of you all are carrying the burden of other people. You guys are going to be coming to terms with the fact that, and some of you guys. You're burdened by moving the way that other people is wanting you to move or said that you should move. Some of you all are knowing what you need to do, but you're so worried about how it's going to be perceived by other people that it's really affecting the harmony within yourself because you're walking around with this space of anxiety. That's not your job, Pisces. They they can't understand your vision if they can't under if they don't see what it is that you see regarding your vision. You get what I'm saying? Stop depending on other people to validate your movements forward, okay? Some of you all, some of you all, there's a need for, some of y'all may also be having to speak up to, speak up for yourself regarding the mother figure during this time and release that damn burden because releasing that burden, you're going to find that harmony within you with the six. Speaking up for yourself, speaking your truth, you driving your way forward. Some of you guys are carrying the burden of someone who's extremely ungrateful and someone who could also be verbally abusive. Spirit is saying it's a burden. Some of you all, you're carrying this burden when you have the opportunity to take a leap of faith. Truly believe in yourself. Truly go reinvent, reinvent, pretty much innovate and reinvent what it is. Create a whole new reality than that that you've been living based off of your creativity, your gifts, your passions. It's aligned with you and your truth. Are you living your truth for somebody else's Pisces? Now, Rob, listen, don't don't get this showing out in this video. I know I said I love your life, but don't get the you just have to move and shift like that. <laughs> listen, y'all, I be connecting with you know all of the elements, and me and Rob got this little special thing going on. So he <laughs> he got a sense of humor. <laughs> And you guys got to witness some of that, okay? Well, well those of you who've had a, a reading with me before, then when I tell you I'm addicted to nature, honey, it's addicted to me too. I'm truly the empress. And I honestly believe that this has to do even with your energy here, Pisces. Like, the sun is shining on you. It's time for you to sit and bask in the spotlight. It's your time. It's harvest season. Don't let other people project their negativity and their negative ass vibes onto you and truly kill the motherfucking Pisces show. Your show. No, no. Hmm. And being aware, coming out of this illusion that's been making you feel trapped. Finding your own, having this, having your own awareness that is coming from within you. Stop looking outside of you for an awareness that you already have. <laughs> and release all this damn overthinking. What you thinking for? The sun is coming out on Pisces. It's your time to shine, my babies. Can't you see? It's your time. Don't wait till tomorrow. When you have today, you can plan and strategize anyway. 
It's okay. Come on, get out of your head. What you thinking about? A lot of you guys are overthinking things that you already have the answers to. Stop allowing other other people from all these damn readings to intrude your energy. And cause this state of confusion. Because some people saying this shit. Other people saying this shit. Mocha telling you to trust yourself. Okay? Trust your dreams. Trust the synchronicity. Trust your guides. Things are being integrated for you. And it's about you finding that within yourself going within that. With both, with both that alliance. With that, both that masculine and that feminine energy. Integrating that in order to build your own prosperity from within you. Coming to your own abundance. That is from nobody else's doing. But you did. It's harvest time, baby. Some of you guys are going to be connecting with a twin flame during this time. But you need to take a leap of faith and release stress in order to do so because that has been a damn blockages to things that you choose to hang on to. It's a choice. You can choose to not give a fuck. You can also choose to be the master of your own fate by going within and trusting the messages and trusting the path in which you've already been on. But trusting the messages from your ancestors, baby. You guys are going through this space of self-mastery, which may test your patience. Some days you may overthink some shit. But why overthink what you already know? You've already aligned your destiny. Why are you overthinking it? Because of what somebody else said? You're the master of your own fate. All right? So let's see what messages we have. And love. That was just for y'all mental space. For those of you who want to know the name of those cards that I use, uh, the angel messages came from the um, Doreen Virtue Oracle Angel message or Oracle Angel Step. Was it? it was, yeah, Angel Oracle Step. That's what it is. Uh, the second one was the Zen, was the Osha Zen Tarot. Okay. One second. So what message do you have for my Pisces? And love. I don't take that. That's too many. All right. That's that shuffle again. Let's just see how. Let's see something happening. Those cross watchers. Pisces in love. The month of August. Hmm. New, new. This is aligned with this. Ow. <laughs> new, new. What you gonna do when that new, new come for you, Pisces? Some of you guys could actually be um, accepting an offer of new love, okay? After possibly releasing someone who didn't really know how to, who was half as given to your situation, half as given to a situation, which also had you closing up a karmic contract because in the past life, some of y'all couldn't make a decision. Yes! Come on, knock it down on contracts. Others of you, some of you all could also be. Some of y'all could have cut off an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I definitely feel like someone wants to make an offer, but there needs to be, okay, someone actually wants to renew a cycle with you guys in the month of August as well. This person could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be someone who you have children with. I do feel there's a lot of passion in the relationship, but things couldn't move forward previously due to either financial issues or someone not being being willing to bend and compromise in a situation. This person is coming forth during the month of August and they want to make an offer to you. Pisces, I feel that some of you guys are being defensive towards this person. And some of you guys could also, uh, some of y'all could be cutting off a damn Leo because you feel as if this person gives very little. You have to choose between possibly a Leo and a Cancer. And I see some of y'all choosing a damn Cancer, okay? Others of you have a past life relationship with a damn Leo. I feel like some of you guys are backing away from this person because they could. I feel like some of y'all, this person could be a big confrontational. Others of you, there could be some of you all are choosing to separate yourself possibly from a Virgo due to the fact that this person has a whole lot of drama around them. This could also be tied to that damn Leo Aries Sagittarius too. Because some of y'all are internally conflict about revisiting a relationship. This is a past life relationship from your past. 
You could have recently dealt. You could have dealt with this person in the past, but this is definitely a past life relationship that you kind of feel secluded from during this time. I definitely feel like in the past, either you were trying to hold on to this person, or this person was trying to hold on to you, but it was out of a state of codependency. There has been some type of transformation in the situation in the month of August, as well. I'm hearing the second and third week. Either you or this person is trying to make an offer. And I definitely feel like spirit is trying to shine a light on the situation intuitively to both parties involved to assist in the movement forward or trusting the movement forward in order for you guys to get what it was that you have been trying to manifest. OK, I definitely feel in the past someone could have also had some type of addiction issues, codependency um, issues with another person, someone having this fear of feeling as if they needed the union. So I feel like. The divine kind of intervened and split the union up. You guys really love this person and you're internally conflicted on if you're going to let them in. I feel as if you're kind of going in, going within self and get getting like some of you guys are getting. Well, you're it's like you are and this could be connected to the people who are watching too many damn tarot videos. It's like you go and seeking information outside of yourself on how things are going to move, if they're going to move, if it's okay to trust the situation. The spirit is saying, Pisces, what do you feel? How do you feel about it? Some of you guys could also be separating yourself. Um, yeah, some of y'all are moving away from the sign of Virgo in the month of August. I feel like this person was trying to manipulate you um, using either money or assets or material things. And I feel like some of y'all, this person is just controlling and Pisces is like, I'm tired of arguing with your ass when your ass get drunk because somebody is a drinker here in this situation. For some of you guys, this could definitely have to do with the twin flame, okay? Others of you, if you are waiting for things to move forward, if you separated from a Gemini person, I do feel that things are going to move forward. This person now knows that you're the one I want to hold on to, Pisces. Nobody loved me like you love me. For some of y'all, this person was holding on to issues around needing to heal their inner child. Especially when it comes to projection and how they viewed themselves was definitely affecting how they viewed the relationships. Others of you, this person could have had issues around the mother or the father. Strong emphasis on a mother where they didn't receive that nurturing aspect. So I feel like your love scared this person. And now this person, with being away from you, has had some type of realization. Some of y'all are even having dreams about this individual and dreams about you guys moving forward. Some of y'all are dreaming about your future. Some of y'all are dreaming about your past life, but it looks as if it's your future. We ain't been doing nothing but repeating timelines, baby. Whole nother video for a whole nother day. Okay? Some of you guys have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio trying to hold on to you because this person is just simply trying to block your damn path with moving on with this damn, from moving on with this fire sign. Every little Sagittarius, okay? Some of you are definitely need to stand your ground when it comes to dealing with your mother. And when it when it comes to dealing with your mother as well as your children, especially I feel like someone is dealing with either a mother figure or a sister figure. Definitely feminine energy that is kind of overstepping their boundaries in the month of um, August. Some of you guys, this could even be your mama. You could even be pregnant during this time or expecting and your mama could be telling you what you need not to eat, what you don't need to eat, what you need to feed your baby, when you need to eat, how you need to eat. Or this could also be someone's mother interfering possibly with either the mother or father of, um, of your children. In your relationship, or just overstepping their boundaries as grandparents do sometimes, honey. You know, we got to, y'all already know, okay? Be cool, Pisces. Others of you, this could also be some of y'all children uh, maybe talking back during this time, or, you know, acting out. Talk to them about their dream space because some of your children are having dreams. Um, Especially when it comes to, um, if I'm talking to a single parent, some of your kids are having dreams regarding you and their parent. Like, there, some of y'all, their mama or their daddy could have told them a story about how something happened and they're finding out that it's a lie through their damn dream space. These kids are gifted, okay? They find out it's a damn lie through their dream space and your child is kind of undergoing anxiety because their perception, you know, regarding the other parent. Or how you treat the other parent is way different from yours. You need to talk to your children to ask them how they feel about the other parent. Because I feel like some of y'all kids have astral projection abilities too. And they want to go meet the other parent on a whole other damn dimension. Because they feel as if you won't let them see them. 
beware. Some of you guys got a, a fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person is coming into your life. I feel like this person wants to move slowly towards something stable. I feel like, yeah, one party one party wants to move very fast. And another party wants to take their time and move slow. Because they're still healing. And also, they're working on their finances. This could also be you. Yeah, some of y'all are definitely, somebody's definitely um, wanting to come in and renew a cycle with you, Pisces. Some of you guys could also be dealing with all this damn fire here. A lot of y'all are definitely dealing with fire signs. Every deal Sagittarius. Some of you guys could be cutting off one damn fire sign and meeting another one, okay? I'm going to break down the elements in this reading. All right. Hmm. You're definitely getting unstuck when it comes to financial matters. For those of you who are having some experiencing some type of financial difficulties, I see that coming to a damn end here, okay? And others of you, if you were invested in a situation, whatever type of enlightenment that you were waiting on to come out of a situation, I definitely feel like you feel as if something didn't work in your favor. Possibly we're dealing with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like some of you guys are being enlightened about a situation and why you have to release a particular person. For some of y'all, it's because this person really don't know how to fuck to be responsible. They don't know how to grow up and actually, um, some of y'all, this person is your damn kid. Y'all have inherited uh, sons and daughters and shit that you ain't even have. You just got to feed them. They eat up all your food and your kids' snacks and shit. And I always only got $42 towards your life. But don't get me started, okay? Because listen, y'all know I be seeing certain shit. Now, when I see some shit, I'm going to say some shit. Some of y'all got a whole damn son or daughter. And your blockage on your finances, the reality of it is this person is a damn liability. And you're blocking your own damn path towards what it is that you want and you've been trying to manifest because it's right here. And this person is very intuitive as well. They know damn well if I if she push me out the way, I ain't going to be able to come back. But their problem with relationships is this, is this shit, this codependent shit. Them other people ain't the bad guy, and I'm pretty sure y'all being enlightened by that shit. You the problem. Do I really want to keep investing in some shit that ain't growing and ain't going no damn well? I'm going to release myself from this. And I definitely feel like this is Pisces. I'm going to release myself. Some of you all just could have to do with the job. You want to have your own business, and you're going to take that leap of faith and actually invest in your damn self. And you come out, baby, looking motherfucking, motherfucking good, Queen of Pentacles. Okay? So if you were doubting, doubt why. How, Sway? You got this, baby. Just go. Just do it. I'm proud of y'all. The growth in you guys, energy you guys has been outrageous. Some of y'all feel like, oh, shit, sis, I don't know which way to go. Well, I don't know which way to turn left. <laughs> What's coming next? But Spirit is saying, trust yourself. Where you may feel as if things are stagnant, there's a sense of stillness for you to strategize and get very clear intentionally on what you want. Not focusing on what the fuck you don't want. Because no time is wasted time. We know that. It only just gave you enough time to, to really get real with yourself about what you will and will not tolerate. Some of you guys could be dealing with the new earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And I definitely feel that if you take this piece of faith and let this person in and accept this, and, um, accept this offer, okay, I definitely feel like it's going to be very abundant. It's worth growing and it's worth investing in if this person is new, okay? Some of y'all, this person could definitely be younger than you. Here with the page. I feel like this person is coming in. I don't even really feel like the page. I feel like this person is coming in a bit slowly. Like somebody has a fear of rejection as well. So they kind of taking their time even with making an offer because someone, I'm feeling the energy of someone not wanting to put their foot in their mouth. Others of you, for those of you who was trying to manifest some type of transformation, Around going into a new cycle with the fire sign. Spirit says you can have whatever you like. It's here. But you're going to have to be willing to release. Um, release. Either you or another person. This other person had to be willing to. Um, compromise and release. This need to carry everyone else's burdens. Because I definitely feel like there was other people who. Could have interfered in a relationship before y'all. Some of you guys. Yeah, some of you guys. If you're dealing with the sign of Aquarius. I definitely feel like this person is wanting to um, 
let the situation go. You could this could be you or another person. Someone feels burdened by a relationship with an Aquarius. I feel like some of you guys are sticking in that relationship due to uh, due to ties with children. I feel like you love this person, but for some of you all, you feel like this person is very controlling. It's like this could be how this person feels about you too. Okay, so we're gonna break it down in elements, all right? Some of y'all could also definitely be dealing with the, uh, with the sign of Aries or, again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Strong Cancer as well as Pisces vibes here, too. Ooh, how is that Pisces on Pisces relationship? That's a lot of water, honey. Y'all, I want that coming. Y'all let me know, okay? Yeah, you guys are definitely going to be, um, yeah, you guys are definitely going to be communicating. If there was some type of resistance regarding uh, people, someone expressing their feelings, you guys are releasing that during this time. You guys are coming out of this defense, defensive energy, either you or this air sign or this fire sign, okay? So if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, let's see what air I got on the board. What air? Yeah, some of y'all could be releasing an air sign after truth and clarity is had about a situation when it comes to someone being immature or someone not being able to like not being responsible enough for someone to feel secure in building with. I feel like someone feels as if another person is extremely closed off and there also may be some type of secrets that could be revealed in the situation to um assist you guys and I'm hearing amicably moving away. Okay. Amicably, all right. You're dealing with a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could have children with this person, okay? I definitely feel like if there's some type of family dynamic, this person is definitely a soulmate to you. I feel like the issue is someone communicates very childishly, okay? And someone is really kind of focused on fulfillment and what it is that they want around the area of fulfillment. I feel like someone also has codependency issues when it comes to drinking. Somebody drinks too damn much or somebody spends their money in places um, that is not beneficial to growing a damn relationships for some of you all this could be someone from your past <clears throat> that is offering this chance to go into new love due to the fact that you guys have children whoever i'm speaking with you can have two children from this person or you could have three children two girls one boy okay others of you this may be, even be two boys one girl but i do feel the energy of three um for some of you all some of you guys could have also met a new water sign and you have to choose between Someone who you have children with as well as a new person that's a water sign. If you choose the new, it's what you've been manifesting around fulfillment. If you choose the old, you need to set clear boundaries with this person. And let them know what you will and will not accept. Because that shit that they was doing before with the childish behavior, I feel like someone is very passive aggressive. Like someone cuts another person off without giving them clarity. But then when it comes and it walks back in their damn life when they feel like it. And Pisces is like, no, 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 no. Let me lay the damn loud down on how this shit's going to go. We're not doing it like that. We're not popping it like that in my world. Okay? So I do feel that if this is a past love, it definitely looks fruitful. But because this person is a soulmate to you. For some of y'all, this is a past life partner. For some of y'all, this person could have... um. Uh, Air, I'm oh, sorry, Aries. So it could be Aries, but this person could have a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio moon. I'm hearing, and I'm seeing that this person have this in their moon sign. You have a telepath. Some of y'all got a telepathic connection with this person, and others of you, you're trying to get rid of this damn person and move on to another water sign. But this person, I'm hearing interrupting. Some of y'all may be dealing with the mother or father of your child that may be interrupting um, a new love affair that you're having in the month of August. And I am hearing this person is being petty, okay? Set boundaries with this person. They don't want to lose. If you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Hold on, y'all. Trying to get my shit. Trying to get it together. If you're dealing with an earth sign, some of you all could also be finding out that you're pregnant by Earth sign. Dry, right when you thought you was going to leave the motherfucker in the cold. Boom. <laughs> you're finding out that you're pregnant by this person. And some of you all don't know if you want to give to the situation or not. 
I feel that that's who I was connecting with with someone who previously lost a child. This this child is wanting to um, reincarnate. This child is wanting to come. They choose you, Pisces. So it's not about the union that you have with this person because to be very honest with you, this baby is wanting to assist with the integration process. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> the blending of energies. For some of you all, now that you're flourishing, if you're dealing with an earth sign who is giving very little to you or trying to control um, you around finances or control you around assets, now that you're flourishing, now this person really wants to come and offer you something um, solid. And I feel like this person, it's this person's way of getting back into your world. Because this person really don't know how to apologize to you, to be very honest. They only know to give things when they done fucked up. So you have to teach them that, that hey, that, that's not who I am. You want to run that apology to you. And resolution. Okay? For some of you all, some of y'all are really questioning what it is that, like, hmm, some of you guys are holding on to a job out of fear of, some of y'all got a fear of success. Fear of you actually hitting the damn ground running and being successful. So you keep giving into somebody else's dream, a.k.a. a damn job. That you know that you need to release yourself to. And you tell yourself mentally that you're holding on to it because you're holding on to it out of this out of this lack this this lack mindset of what you won't have. And that's because you programmed that within the self and spirit is saying let that go because how sway. Some of you all could also be receiving an offer of love from a younger earth sign. And I feel like this person is needing to make a damn decision because I feel like they have some type of tie to someone who they have children with who could also be trying to manipulate them with. And this person could have like somebody is trying to manipulate somebody else based on what they've done in the past. Or how they've been there with someone, like how they've been there for someone in the past. Somebody trying to make you feel bad uh, regarding your finances and what you choose to do with them because you making them stand on their own two damn feet. Okay. Don't let that happen. Don't be the fool. All this damn fire. Now, all these fire cards. You're not going to see what I was talking about. All this damn fire. Look at all these cards. I'm still grabbing. You see this shit? Fire, 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 fire. I got damn near half the suit and fire. Let me put them in order. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. See? That's the 10, baby. That's the end, baby. That. <laughs> One second. Yes. Spirit like we need order. Order in the court. Okay. I got the king and queen arise. I just noticed I got a whole suit. So since so some of you guys, this is your motherfucker. That's your person. Okay. You guys match one another, especially when it comes to um passion. Most of you guys could also share the same passion life purpose as well. You guys remember you guys to actually work together. Okay, spirit is taking you back to that divine partnership. Some of y'all, that's what the spiritual understanding is about. This king and queen wands right here. Okay, I was just saying, I'm going to put that back. And it's fool card. What you say, spirit? Because the fool card here two times. I just noticed it's, it's here twice. Uh, you know, it's here twice. Pisces. <laughs> Take that leap of faith. If you're scared, jump off the cliff, okay? Some of you all, some of you all could actually be turning your damn back on situation. Some of y'all communicating to a motherfucker, listen, I'm not really with this. Listen, I got to turn it around. Listen, I'm not really with this old in and out ass shit that you want to do, okay? Because the thing is, to me, that shit is burdensome. I'm, I'm, I'm not with the in and out shit that you want to do. I, I, I'm trying to drop these type of burdens because I want something that is fulfilling. I want something that is going to match me when it comes to my heart space. Y'all, I know I need to refill. It's been busy, okay? Some of you all, if you're dealing with, this is if you're dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Some of you all could also be waiting for a fire sign. Some of y'all during this time could be communicating with the fire sign who is possibly either argumentative or resistant to you. This person is releasing the burden of being resistant. I feel like this person is going to be coming in, traveling in to communicate their feelings with you during this time. And what they're feeling is, listen, I'm passionate about you. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. 
you, I see you looking all forward and shit, and I gotta actually maybe go back and review my damn past to see why I gotta get my shit together. Now I know I'm the king, I got a whole lot of passion, but you taught me from you being able to look forward how to go back and fix these things. So now I'm ready to come forth to you and travel towards you because we've been manifesting one another, baby. I just need you to take this leap of faith with me and be willing to jump off the cliff. Trust me. And for some of you all, it's a good look if you trust them, Pisces. Okay, so let me see. What's the outcome for Pisces? Outcome for Pisces. Outcome for Pisces. For the month of August. In the... Now this video long, I already know. Got my baby. I waited forever. Yes. You can have whatever you like. It's harvest time, Pisces. Trust in the unknown because it's going to bring you fulfillment. Don't overstress. Don't worry about, okay, with well, this person bringing this third party ass energy towards me. And some of y'all just have to do with you releasing fucking third party ass energy in order to get what it is that you've been trying to manifest. Which is love, Pisces. Some of you guys, it could be coming from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Others of you, it could be coming from any damn sign, because you can have whatever you like. You are what you manifest. You are what you what you attract. And because your vibration is ascending, yes, and some of you all have an offer to reconcile possibly with the fire sign that looks amazing after this reconciliation. This person is now where well, they was kind of in undecided about offering their love or not, because I feel like this three is even like a shifting of some sort. Now this person is damn sure that they want to stabilize this relationship and do their part when it comes to balancing this relationship to bring it to this space of newness, renewal. And it looks solid. So for those of you who are dealing with the Capricorn towards Virgo, this person, I feel like that was a situation that there there was this, this there was this energy of abundance where someone possibly felt as if they were lacking finances or lacking um being able to add to a situation. Now it looks good. Spirit is trying to balance your life, but you got to change some shit around. And for some of y'all, it's what you allow in your damn life. Sometimes you got to lead by example and let people know what it is that you will and will not accept, okay? Others of you, some of you guys, you got to be willing to allow people in instead of this fear that everybody's going to hurt you. Like, I feel the energy of someone wanting love, but them being afraid to really take a chance even though they got all these damn options and people who are really wanting to come in and love them but understand this everybody not the same person as the person that helped you as the person that hurt you go and don't allow your past to afflict your future because you'll never go anywhere okay so this is what i have for you guys in love and fucking Every damn thing for the month of August. I will see you guys here mid-month. Thank you again for your love. Thank you again for those of you who kind of hung up in there and just really, get, really got all tea because I know this video is long as hell. But you guys, I miss you guys. And I really had to pull out every damn thing to see what is tea. All right. I love you all. And again, I'll see you mid-month if you need a personal reading. Um, definitely tune in to the community tab, you guys, because I've been having specials going all summer and I will continue to all summer. Um, also, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. So, yeah, we can be a part of the family and the fun. I also do weeklies over there on Sundays and Mondays. I do them elemental, so catch me live. I love y'all. Mm -hmm. Peace and blessings, Pisces. Bye, fishy babies.